I'm not really sure who was at fault. I heard there was a tree to blame, so I, I don't really know. That's still being investigated through video and whatnot that has to be looked at before before any you know determination of the cause of the crash can be. The tree that blocked, blocked vision? Or? I believe so, but I'm not really sure. Some neighbors were complaining about a tree. I'm Sergeant Christy Wilcox, the public information officer of the Racine Police Department. How long do you expect that it's going to be here? I, I'm not sure. They should be wrapping up, I think, soon, so I don't know what they're waiting on before they can be towed out of there. And just to clarify, someone was transported via Flight for Life or was not? I know flight was called but I don't know if they ended up being transported or not. And did they land at Horlick? I, I'm not sure. It's From what I heard was Horlick Field, so I don't know if it was actually Horlick Field or the field at Horlick High School, if that makes sense, because they're two different locations. And were all the injured people just taken to area hospitals? I believe so, yes. Yep. I'm asking you guys. I'm here for you right now. Um, so the the school bus had two people, the driver and a driver assistant. From what I'm understanding, because it was a special needs bus, they had an assistant. Uh, it was just them. They just dropped off their last child. On the city bus, there were seven to eight people, and I guess all of them at least got looked at for complaints of minor injuries. Okay. 